MotorWeek is made possible by Cars.com. Your host for MotorWeek, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to MotorWeek. We're glad to have you with us. As we've often said, a proper convertible conversion is about a lot more than just shearing off the roof. It's about preserving the integrity of the original hardtop model, both visually and how it drives. Now that's especially true when you start with an outstanding performance car. Case in point, Infiniti's new G37 convertible. It sprang from the impressive G-Series coupe. But the question is, how did it end up? We breathed a sigh of relief upon learning of the painstaking efforts Infiniti has gone through in building the 2009 G37 convertible, a car that will instantly be compared to the BMW 3 Series convertible. Below the belt line, the G37 convertible appears to carry over all of the athletic cues of the coupe, but then so does the carefully shaped three-piece retracting hardtop. Envisioned by Nissan's chief designer, Shiro Nakamura, and built by the German engineering firm, Carmen. With the top up, you can hardly tell that it's a convertible. It's even hard to tell from the underside with its seamless headliner. But with the touch of a switch, it takes just 30 seconds for the steel roof to make its exit. Top up or top down, it is an eye catcher with a finely drawn front fascia, beefy shoulders, and short overhangs. Only at the rear is there a clear difference with a raised deck lid and altered taillights all finished with sporting trim. Still, Infinity managed to avoid the bustle back look of some hardtop drop tops. Okay, so it looks like the coupe, but does it perform like one too? To overcome rigidity issues, engineers brace the G37 convertible with a multitude of reinforcements. The result is coupe-like stiffness, but at a hefty price, 453 extra pounds of curb weight to be exact. The G37 convertible rides on the coupe's proven FM platform, supported by an aluminum-intensive double wishbone front multi-link rear suspension. The rear suspension gets the most rework with a wider track, stiffer springs, and lower height. Faster ratio steering comes with the sport package which also upgrades the brakes. Still, standard fitment is all vented ABS disc brakes with brake assist. Five split-spoke 18-inch alloys with all-season rubber are standard with 19-inch summer tires available. We took the Open Sky G out for some air along the twisty canyon roads near Malibu, California. And even without the sport package, it quickly proved itself an impressive handler. Turn-ins are quick, body roll is almost nil. But even so, the extra weight does surface, leaving the G37 short of the sharpness of its German rival. Ride quality, however, is more refined. Top up, the cabin is as quiet as the coupe, with it down, wind buffeting is minimal, and even less with a removable wind blocker. Power comes from Nissan's well-regarded 3.7-liter V6. Ratings are 325 horsepower, five less than the coupe, and 267 pound-feet of torque. Though strong off the line, again the added weight watered down acceleration compared to the coupe. Transmissions are a 7-speed automatic with optional magnesium paddle shifters or a 6-speed manual which is standard on the sport. Government fuel economy ratings are 17 city 25 highway for the automatic and 16 city 24 highway for the manual, both on premium gas. Inside, you'll find a refined and technology-laden 2 plus 2 cabin. The G37 Coupe style of business mixed with pleasure is intact, but with aluminum trim unique to the drop top. The standard 8-way leather trim front buckets have ample support and can be heated and cooled. To enhance the drop top lifestyle is an optional 13 speaker Bose open air sound system. Automatic equalization keeps outside noise at bay while head restraint speakers deliver clarity of sound regardless of speed. There's also an available adaptive climate control system that varies the fan based on roof position and speed of the vehicle. 
For the techno savvy, there's a standard rear view camera, available navigation with music hard drive, Bluetooth, and intelligent cruise control. But don't expect much room for adults in the fixed rear seat. It's the definition of two plus two tight and works best as a luggage shelf. That's good since the small 10.3 cubic foot trunk shrivels up to less than two when the hardtop is stowed. It's the price paid for a gorgeous profile. Still, the BMW 3 Series does better. Pricing for the Infiniti G37 convertible was not available when we went to tape, but base price will be in the mid 40s. As their first hardtop drop top, we must give high marks to the 2009 G37 convertible. It delivers on Infiniti's claims of retaining the inspired performance of the G Series Coupe while offering the latest in open air appeal. True, some rivals have an edge or two in packaging, but the G37 stands out front in style. And for those that buy this Sun Chaser, that just might matter most of all.